Hello, my name is Raf and I'm playing Jungler in Vainglory for ST Gaming. Today I show you how to play Glaive in Jungler. Your mother bears a striking resemblance to the Kraken. Let's start about the early game. In the beginning of the game you buy a Swift Shooter. And after you did your jungle rotation you go for a weapon blade. Then you will go for another weapon blade and boots. It depends now if you're winning in the jungle and you already killed him, you can go for a heavy steal. But if you're losing, for example against the sky, you should go for a shield. Or when you are playing against the Rona, you go for armor. If you're winning in the jungle, you will rush the sorrow blade, the blazing salvo and tier 2 boots. It depends if you're hardcore winning, you will go for either a monitor or a tornado trader and a reflex block before that. If you're playing against a tanky hero in jungle, you will go for bone song. But if you're like uh, not losing but you're a bit behind in jungle, you will go for a shield item or armor item. After I did my first round in jungle, I will either go into lane and try to dank the enemy laner or I will go into the enemy jungle with my support and try to kill that jungle carry. So the normal team fight would be that the support would be in the front line and the, your laner should poke the enemy. If, you're, if the enemy is overextending, you can just afterburn and afterburn the enemy into your team so that they can kill him. There's another option when the supporter is using the wardrobes and you're rushed into the enemy, you will just afterburn and try to kill him as fast as possible. In the beginning of the game, you should always start with the B ability. After that, you will go for the A and again for the B. Because the B is dealing more damage than the afterburn in the early game. After that, you will go for the afterburn until level 5 and then for the ult. Then you will level up your B until it has 4 stacks and then you will match the ult. I have two tips for you when you are playing Glaive. The first one is when you are jumping in with the afterburn, you should be aware of not being into the, in the middle of all three enemies, so you are not taking the whole damage. And the second one is when you are doing your afterburn onto a target, you can immediately do your B on him to make um, the damage immediately, so you don't have to run to the enemy again. This was all for this guide. Thanks for watching guys and see you on the fold.